commotio cordis is an often lethal disruption of heart rhythm that occurs as a result of a blow to the area directly over the heart, at a critical time during the cycle of a heartbeat causing cardiac arrest. It is a form of ventricular fibrillation, not mechanical damage to the heart muscle or surrounding organs, and not the result of heart disease. The fatality rate is about 65%. It can sometimes, but not always, be reversed by defibrillation. Commotio cordis occurs mostly in boys and young men, usually during sports, most often baseball, often despite a chest protector. It is most often caused by a projectile, but can also be caused by the blow of an elbow or other body part. Being less developed, the thorax of an adolescent is likely more prone to this injury given the circumstances. The phenomenon was confirmed experimentally in the 1930s, with research in anesthetized rabbits, cats and dogs. Incidents, commotio cordis is a very rare event, but nonetheless is often considered when an athlete presents with sudden cardiac death. Some of the sports which have a risk for this cause of trauma are baseball, association football, ice hockey, polo, rugby football, cricket, softball, pelota, fencing, lacrosse, boxing, karate, kung fu, and other martial arts. Children are especially vulnerable, possibly due to the mechanical properties of their thoracic skeleton. From 1996 to spring 2007, the USA National Commotio Cordis Registry had 188 cases recorded, with about half occurring during organized sports almost all of the victims were male, the mean age of the victims during that period was 14.7 years, and fewer than 1 in 5 survived the incident. Other situations, commotio cordis may also occur in other situations, such as in children who are punished with blows over the precordium, cases of torture, and frontal collisions of motor vehicles. In contrast, the precordial thump is a sanctioned procedure for emergency resuscitation by trained health professionals witnessing a monitored arrest when no equipment is at hand, endorsed by the latest guidelines of the International Liaison Committee on Resuscitation. It has been discussed controversially, ASA euro in particular and severe hypoxia euro it may cause the opposite effect. In a normal adult, the energy range involved in the precordial thump is 5 to 10 times below that associated with commotio cordis. Mechanism of injury These factors influence the chance of commotio cordis, direction of impact over the precordium, total applied energy, impact occurring within a specific 10 a euro to 30 millisecond portion of the cardiac cycle. This period occurs in the ascending phase of the T wave, when the ventricular myocardium is repolarizing moving from systole to diastole. The small window of vulnerability explains why it is a rare event. Considering that the total cardiac cycle has a duration of one second, the probability of a mechanical trauma within the window of vulnerability is 1 to 3 percent only. That also explains why the heart becomes more vulnerable when it is physically strained by sports activities, the increase in heart rate may double the probability above relative exercise-induced hypoxia and acceleration of the excitoconductive system of the heart make it more susceptible to stretch-induced ventricular fibrillation. The cellular mechanisms of commotio cordis are still poorly understood, but probably related to the activation of mechanosensitive proteins, ion channels. Impact energies of at least 50 joules are estimated to be required to cause cardiac arrest, when applied in the right time and spot of the precordium of an adult. Impacts up to 130 joules have already been measured with hockey pucks and lacrosse balls, 450 joules in karate punches, and 1028 joules in boxer Rocky Marciano's punch. The 50 joule threshold, however, can be considerably lowered when the victim's heart is under ischemic conditions, such as in coronary artery insufficiency. Also an upper limit of impact energy is applied to the heart. Too much energy will create structural damage to the heart muscle, as well as causing electrical upset. This condition is referred to as contusio cordis. On isolated guinea pig hearts, as little as 5 megajoules were needed to induce release of creatine kinase, a marker for muscle cell damage. Obviously, this figure does not include the dissipation of energy through the chest wall, and is not scaled up for humans but it is indicative that relatively small amounts of energy are required to reach the heart before physical damage is done. 
outcome and treatment, most cases are fatal. Automated external defibrillators have helped increase the survival rate to 35%. Defibrillation must be started as soon as possible for maximal benefit. Commotio cordis is the leading cause of fatalities in youth baseball in the U.S., with two to three deaths per year. It has been recommended that communities and school districts re-examine the need for accessible automatic defibrillators and cardiopulmonary resuscitation trained coaches at organized sporting events for children. Prevention, the risk would probably be reduced by improved coaching techniques, such as teaching young batters to turn away from the ball to avoid errant pitches, according to doctors. Defensive players in lacrosse and hockey are now taught to avoid using their chest to block the ball or puck. Chest protectors and vests are designed to reduce trauma from blunt bodily injury, but this does not offer protection from commotio cordis and may offer a false sense of security. Almost 20% of the victims in competitive football, baseball, lacrosse and hockey were wearing protectors. This ineffectiveness has been confirmed by animal studies. Development of adequate chest protectors may prove difficult. Legal issues Several people have been convicted of involuntary manslaughter in cases involving insufficient and slow medical help to athletes who experienced commotio cordis during sports events, as well as in cases of intentional delivery of contusive blows. See also, pulmonary contusion, touch of death. References Further reading, Cole P., Nesbitt A.D., Cooper P.J., Layem. Sudden Cardiac Death by Commotio Cordis Role of Machano Electric Feedback. Cardiovisc. Res 50, 280 Euro 9 DOI, 10.1016 per second 0008 6363 01 01194 8. PMID 11334832. Geddes L.A., Reader R.A. Evolution of our knowledge of sudden death due to commotio cordis. MJ Emerg Med 23, 67 a Euro 75 doi, 10.1016 slash J Adam. 2003.12.023. PMID 15672341. Maron BJ, Estes and A third. Medical Progress, Commotio Cordis. N Engel J Med 362, 917 a Euro 27 doi. 10.1056 slash NEJMRA 0910111. PMID 20220186. External links, induction of ventricular arrhythmias following a mechanical impact, a simulation study in 3D, Yabk, SM Commotio Cordis. E-Medicine, September 2005. Sports Sciences Feature, Commotio Cordis. Sudden death following chest wall trauma. ACC. Mechanical effects on heart rhythm, from commotio cordis to precordial thump. PowerPoint slides, by P. Cole. September 2005. International Liaison Committee on Resuscitation, American Heart Association Guidelines on Resuscitation, Resuscitation Council Guidelines on Resuscitation.